Hi, I'm Ed Chan. I'm one of the founding partners of Chan & Naylor. You may have heard of our accounting firm. Paul Jantz from GPL has uh, invited me along to attend his next series of breakfast workshops where he wants me to talk about how we grew our business from where it used to be. Um, we used to work from home with a, a small parcel of fees from family and friends to what it is today at about $12 million in turnover with eight offices around Australia and just under 100 people. What I'll talk to you about in the workshop is about our, uh, an accounting business life cycle. All accountants go through a business life cycle and typically the, the small firm will hit their first wall or they'll hemorrhage at around 400000 in fees. The next challenge is to take it up to a million dollars, they'll hit their second wall at about a million dollars and then they'll hit their third wall when they try to increase it about above a million dollars. I'll be talking about what each accounting firm at each stage would need to do to then take them beyond where they were. At the three stages, I'll be paying particular attention to four things. And those four things are, the first one being is the business model. The business model that you've adopted is very important because it forms the foundation of how you're going to um, grow the firm. You need, obviously, a strong foundation, otherwise you can't grow the firm. It begins with the owner's mindset because the way the owner thinks of his business will determine how the business will grow. For example, let me ask you this question. Do you go to work to prepare a tax return or do you go to work to build a business that prepares a tax return? Now the answer to that question will determine the kind of business you end up with. If you can change 10 things and make it 10% better, you can effectively improve your business by 100%. It's really that simple. The second thing I'm going to talk, I'll be talking about is the positioning of your firm. How you position your firm will determine the kind of clients that you attract. And the kind of clients that you attract will determine the kind of team members you'll have on board. And the kind of team members that you have on board will determine the, the kind of leverage and the kind of profits that you'll get. The third, things I'll, the third thing I'll cover will be the systems. What kind of systems do you have in your business? What kind of innovation systems do you have? What kind of production systems do you have? What kind of training systems? What kind of IT? What kind of marketing and positioning systems do you have? The fourth and last thing would be your team structure. The only way to grow your business is to have a really good team behind you. And with our kind of business, it's a very relationship orientated business between our organisation and our clients. So we really need to focus our attention on our staff's interpersonal skills and not simply their technical skills. How much interpersonal skills training do you do for your staff? There's no point in spending a lot of time and money and effort in getting new clients if there's leakage from your business.